Hello again, everyone. Hope you are well on this Tuesday night. If you haven't yet subscribed to Mrs. Dog's channel, do hit the subscribe button for her. I have a link in the description of this video, so do check it out. If something happens to my channel, that will be my backup channel. I will be on her channel, so do please remember that. If you like this video, hit the like button. It helps us out. We do appreciate it. Several things I'm going to share uh, this, this evening, more Target stores are closing. I'll go into that. The parent, the, not the parental, but the, uh, the family unit really needs to tighten up what's left of it. I'll, I'll go into that a little bit. I'll try to explain what's on my mind there. It's complicated. More of them are coming. You know what I mean? More, more than ever. And food and gas prices are going to surge even more than you would imagine. I'm going to tell you why. Also, I have a awesome passage, two, um, two little passages I'm going to share that uh, I think you will get a lot out of. So do stay tuned for that. But first, if you have a chance, if you're able, depending on your situation, depending on where you live, if you have a chance to get outside some, especially this time of the year, the temperatures are cooling down, depending on where you live. Of course, that can, that can vary. I know here in North Georgia, it felt good out there about an hour or so ago, right at sunset, right as this, or right, it was beginning of sunset, kind of dusk. And I like to go out there and just kind of stand around, walk around the yard a little bit. The dogs are out there and just as it's quiet, it, at least it then, most of the time here, <clears throat> it was very quiet. You just heard some squirrels, some birds, and, uh, it was, it was, it's a nice way to decompress, you know, uh, the weight of the day has subsided a bit, you know, and, uh, it's a good relaxing time. <clears throat> so if you have a chance to do that or walk, do some walking. I, I noticed a couple of things that were kind of interesting, uh, little snippets here. The CIA is preparing to roll out an artificial intelligence for United States spy agencies. Now, what this will do is saying it will sift, be able to sift through, quote unquote, huge amounts of available data, huge amounts of available data. Now, what do you think they mean by that? Nothing good. I, I you know, a few years ago, I would have said, hey, that sounds uh, interesting. Maybe it will help find some terrorist or something, you know, that threatened the United States, a threat to uh, national security. That's what I would have said. That's what I would have thought maybe five, six, seven years ago. Now, when I hear that, I don't think that. I'm thinking something else. And you know what I mean. And that's sad, really. It's sad. <clears throat> And this story is disturbing. Over a thousand, over a thousand children have been reported as missing in the Cleveland, Ohio area. And just this, just this year, y'all, just this year, 50 minors from the same area. Total of 1,072 kids, 45 of them from the Cleveland Akron, Akron area. What in the world is going on? 35 just in the month of August. 35. What in the world? Now, the, the report did say some of these could be runaways, you know, or repeat runaways, but not that many. That is alarming. Something is going on there. And, you know, you think about trafficking, you think about the crime waves and all this. And I'm just thinking about it. I mean, where are the parents? And I'm, I can't blame everything on the, I, I, you know, it could be something totally out of their control. I get it. But I think the family unit is not what it used to be by and large in this country. And, and, and it really needs to tighten up and, and the men, especially, and, and the men who are watching this channel, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir on this. I know, but the young men that, you know, you know, I think we should, do all we can to instill a sense of responsibility in them for, for uh, their children. And, and, you know, because we're, we're quick to blame everything on you know, the violence and the, 
the uptick in crime and this and that. I, I think as men, you know, it, it, it's just we were raised differently too, you know, and and uh, and I knew that when I was growing up, if I got out of line, there was consequences. It was swift too, and and usually it was from both parents. So if I acted up, I got it from my mom. And then when my dad got home from work, I got it again. And it was not pleasant. And I might have even gotten it at school. Now, I, I, I was pretty good in school. I, I didn't misbehave much. But uh, that's just the way it was. It was a different time. But we need some of that. We need a lot of that now. You know, more than ever. Responsibility. Family. More target stores are closing nine stores uh, in major cities citing uh, target is citing violence and theft. New York City, Seattle, San Francisco, Portland among them. I mean, yeah, you, you know, if, if your stores are getting robbed blind, I mean, you, you you end up closing. I think this is a trend we'll continue seeing. And I think it's, if, if I don't see anything stopping it from continuing and it'll be more than just the big cities. It'll be a lot of places. It'll be virtually everywhere. It really will. And that's part of what I was just talking about, the breakdown of the family, the breakdown of responsibility, morals, uh, just society decay. It, it's so sad to watch in real time. It really is. We were just watching it happen. You know, in my neighborhood, the neighborhoods that I grew up in, it was like if somebody was 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 causing trouble, you know, the dads or the parents would get together and it, it, we didn't need police. Police weren't needed. It was taken care of. It just got taken care of. OK. In school, you know, if somebody was uh, doing something to somebody or bullying or whatever, and we'd step in and help that person. Didn't even need a teacher sometimes. We just took care of it. It wasn't a problem anymore. No police were needed. We need more of that. I saw an article that said that oil could hit $150 a barrel, sending quote unquote shockwaves through the system. Now, this is was said by a top shale, shale CEO. He said that we could see oil go to in the 120 to 150 dollar range without new production, or unless policies are put into place to encourage more output. Hello, Brandon. Thanks a lot. Thanks a pant load for that. Destruction. This will, you know. This will 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 raise gas prices even more. Food, you know, and that and that just has a cascading effect on food and other goods. Plus, when you have more stores closing, the stores getting robbed left and right. Who who, who does it get? It gets passed down to us. The folks who are paying our way, we're paying our way. We're doing the right, trying to do, trying to do the right thing, and we get fleeced for it. You know? Saw this story. Costa Rica. Costa Rica is declaring a state of emergency amid the surge of migrants that are crossing through the country. So they're declaring a, a state of emergency because of the mass of humanity crossing through. Man. That's telling. What does that tell you? That tells you they're coming. And the word gets out. Social media, Instagram, you know, everywhere else, all across the world. Now's the time to go. Get, just get in the country. Just get there. And you'll get this and this and this. Saw a video of hundreds of them. Climb, I guess they climbed on top of freight train. As they're moving through up to the border, 
This is when Eagle, I guess, around or near Eagle Pass, Texas. This seems like the the place where they're trying to really get through a lot, and they they've overwhelmed the uh, security, uh, the border agents. You know. That's something else right there, y'all. That alone, that alone is a disaster. Disaster is not a good enough, it's not a strong enough word for it. Prepare, 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 get, prepare yourself, your family, your home, your property, whatever you're able to do spiritually is number one. But whatever we can do to, to, to fortify to defend, to get ready to defend, to to get our mindset right too, because we're about to see stuff. I saw a comment from my video, I think from yesterday, from somebody who said they're in, I think, Middle Missouri, and they're seeing seeing more people walking walking through, walking and uh, you know walking the streets. It's in, they're seeing a difference, and that and it could be from what's coming up from the south. Well, I don't think we've seen anything yet, y'all. Uh, I know the folks down in Texas and uh, down there, they're seeing it now, but we don't, we, we're going to though. We're going to, it's coming. It is coming. All right. Passage is, I'm staying in Matthew still, Matthew chapter 23, <clears throat> uh, verses 25 through I think 27 here. I'll just read for a bit, for a little bit. Whoa. I when I, when you hear, whoa. When Jesus says, whoa, you know, I'm going to perk up and listen a little bit more, a little bit more intensely, right? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of greed, self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and the plate that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead people's bones and uncleanliness. So you outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Now, who does that make you think of? I'll let you say that in the comments. I have an idea. I have an idea. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to let y'all say it. In the comments. Um, and if you're still watching, I, sh I sure do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, let's keep preparing. Uh, let's, let's take care. Let's be safe out there. God bless you. I will see you soon.